Hey everyone and welcome. Dominic here with the Catholic Homeschool Neighborhood and uh, excited to be joined by Leslie Wall. Welcome Leslie, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me on. Wonderful. Well, we're going to get right into your first story and about your work in just a second. We're on a quest to help you find the best fit for your homeschool life. This Catholic homeschool neighborhood introduces you to friendly creators and guides as you build your own homeschool neighborhood. I'm your host, Dominic DeSouza, a second gen homeschool dad. Leslie is a, an award winning author of Catholic teen fiction and a founding member of the joint website catholicteenbooks.com. So Leslie, before getting to, into what it is that you do and so on, I'd like to help people get to know you uh, a little bit. What Do you have a story about a moment in your life where you began to realize you couldn't keep doing what you were doing and, and it kind of set you up to be who you are today or what you're working on today? Sure. Um... Yes, I was. I was a mom as uh, Elsa, and uh, of young kids. And my oldest was about in fifth grade, and you know we were just going about our lives and all. But he was such a good reader. He really wanted to find more fiction books uh, that, uh, and he would tend to be finding like YA books uh, for teens, even at that young age. But he had, he was such a good reader, but it was so hard to find any kind of books that like reflected our values. Mm. And this, it was just so hard. And I kept trying to search for books uh, that didn't even necessarily have to have a Christian message, just to have a clean message. Uh, but during this time, I got the idea for my very first book. It just kind of came to me and I am, it just wouldn't go away the storyline until I decided I needed to write it down. And um, it became, the first book is called The Perfect Blind Side. And uh, it's just a fun adventure, but has Catholic values and so forth. And that just started my whole career um, of writing because, you know, there's so much out there and it, the kids need to have fun stories as well as their schooling things, but they need to have ones I think that uh, reflect our values and are good and wholesome and so forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. So formative, especially in the, the younger years to get a sense of what is our culture? What's the worldview that we're all mm -hmm. trying to build together here? Well, OK, great. So you the writing your first book kind of cemented this this new thing. Did you ever intend to be an author or a writer growing up? No, I did always like being creative and so forth and enjoyed writing like newsletters and so forth, but never really thought about um, a novel. There was some picture book ideas I had, but uh, it wasn't until, yeah, that idea just came to me and it was uh, just propelled me on a new path um, and it really deepened my faith actually, because once it was written, I learned that there were other Catholic authors out there writing for teens and middle school age students. And when I connected that with them, now some of them are my best friends, we're all across the country, but uh, it's just amazing. And I've grown in my faith through them and through my work, and it's just really changed everything. It's amazing. That's fantastic. So tell us what you're working on today. What's your, uh, what are your, your websites and your projects? Yeah, well, what I really wanted to share with uh, the audience is the joint website that I'm on with the other Catholic not off authors. Um, there's 15 of us on catholicteenbooks.com. Nice. And there's like from older elementary all the way through college age. And we just offer so much. And I feel like a lot of people don't realize that um, the site is there. And it's very helpful. Not only are our books featured, but we have study guides. We even have some in the OLVS uh, style. Uh, we have book packs. We so you could have a theme and you get several books. We have um, a website, obviously. We have newsletters, uh, a blog. Um, so uh, if even um, book clubs in a box if you're interested in that. So we just have a lot to offer families. And the books, they're all fiction, but they range in many different topics. So they can be a great way to be a supplement to um, you know, a lesson that you're teaching or just even, you know, for fun to have mm. these options out there. That's awesome. So, I mean, it's like you're building a community around specifically Catholic 
Catholic fiction for, for yes. younger ages? What kind of ages do, do these stories? Yeah, uh, mostly about like fifth grade and up. Um, it seems to be that's a hard age to find. Um, I know, like I said, when I was trying to find that kind of fiction for my own kids, there's some out there, but finding it is difficult. So we thought combining our efforts for marketing and so forth and having all these options at one site would be really helpful uh, for families. So that's what we've been working on. And we nice. each all have our own websites and so forth, but uh, this working together has been really a great way um, to, to reach communities and so forth. That's awesome. I have to ask, what is a book club in a box? Okay. Well, we have several options. And so, um, for instance, one of, several of mine are on there, but uh, for families or um, kids who want to have like a book club, they can either do it with your family or, you know, other friends. And you just let us know how many books you want and we'll send it. But we also include other fun little items like recipe ideas or some um, yeah. little gadgets and, and gifts that we come along in it too. So you were just trying to always figure out how to um, to be able to reach families and uh, what they might need for their kids to be interested in Catholic fiction. That's awesome. I'm noticing you've got on your homepage, you've got like themed book packs. And mm -hmm. so what are those and, and what kinds of, of fiction stories like genres are, are covered oh. here? I'm glad you asked that. Uh, yeah, the book packs, we have, um, I think there's six different ones. So like discernment is one, or um, there's a dystopian one. There's all kinds um, on there. So all the books have that kind of that theme within them. Um, and our genres are, I think, one of the greatest things on our um, site, because not everybody wants the same kind of books or is interested in the same ones. So we have uh, books in that are mysteries, we have adventures, we have romance, dystopian stories, books about saints, um, and all kinds of other ones, uh, historical fiction and so forth. We even have three books that we are anthologies, where seven or eight of us got together and wrote short stories mm -hmm. and added, created a book for those short stories. And that's a great way for um, families to get just a little taste of different authors' styles. Mm -hmm. So we have one around St. Patrick and a, um, a relic that gets passed on through the generations, which is kind of cool. We have a Christmas-themed one uh, that's called Gifts, Visible and Invisible. So all that can be found on the website. Um, but yeah, I, we hope that there's a lot of a variety so people can really find ones that are interesting to them. And like I mentioned before, uh, we have parental guidelines so that um, you can really figure out what's in the book because what's appropriate for a fifth grader, you know, is different than what's appropriate for an older teen. So, you know, it uh, that gives you, you some guidance to figure out what is good for which student and which child you have. That's, that's fantastic. So um, what's... Uh, well, I'm, now I've got two questions I want to ask. One is, uh, I'd like to hear more about your own books and, and your own work. But before that, let's ask, um, what's next for, for teen Catholic teen books? Like, are you working towards anything? What's something that uh, oh, okay. we can get excited about? about, about yeah. About? So we have 15 authors now. We're always hoping to uh, get more. But it does take a little while because we have to read the and make sure that their books will fit right in with our um, site because we want to be confident on what we offer. Sure. And uh, we're trying to uh, go to more events and so forth um, yeah. to represent and have books. I was at one in Wichita this past summer and that was wonderful to be able to meet people in person and they could pick up books there. So uh, so that's something we're working on and trying to set up um, a book a bookstore online so you can actually okay. purchase them right there. Yeah, cool. and as far as my own work, I um, I just have always loved mysteries. So all my books are adventurous mysteries, and some have a little bit of humor or innocent romance with them too. But uh, that's always been just my favorite genre. <laughs> I'm curious: is there an author that you might sort of uh, your work reflects or is a little similar to uh, to give people a sense of kind of uh, your style? Uh, one of the books I 
that really kind of gave me the style that I um, write in with, with including the mystery, adventure, humor, romance, all of it together. As Erin Magnum, she's a Christian author. So I don't know if people know of her or not, but, <laughs> but that's one that comes to mind. Okay, great. And so you so you've mentioned this the point about, you know, it's uh, stories that reflect Catholic values and and carefully vetting the uh, the participants of of this collaboration. Um, who's the kind uh, who's the best kind of uh, say homeschooler or the best kind of family that's that's really going to enjoy and and benefit from uh, you know reading these kinds of books and so on like, there's different kinds of Catholics, I suppose, different cultural backgrounds, different mm -hmm. places in their lives. Who's the best kind of person who's going to enjoy it the fastest? Well, you know, I think that um, we try to have with our authors and the books, I think we really try to have a broad scope. Um, so some, you know, might are, of the authors, you know, might be a little, um, their stories might be a little more modern and so forth. And others with like the saint books are much more conservative and so forth. And that's why we try to put in the guidelines and so forth, what they really are about. Because uh, we want to reach, you know, as many people as we can. But there, like you said, there's definitely different um, needs and wants within the Catholic community. Uh, but we most so if there's like some of the dystopian stories might have a little bit more edgier things, uh, which can be fantastic to think about what a future could be like. And it is written from a Catholic viewpoint, uh, but other families might not want to go there with their kids at a certain age. They might want to stick with the saint stories or something like that. Gotcha. Okay, so there's a broad variety of, of viewpoints and then you've crafted guidelines to help orient people mm -hmm. to find what, what works best for them. Awesome, how, how can people find you and uh, how can they get in touch with you? Yeah, so uh, my uh, own website is my name, lesliewall.com, mm -hmm. and um, I have a contact form there if people want to contact me. But uh, I can also be found on the catholicteambooks.com. There's a tab for who we are, and each of us, you know, if you click on our name, it'll come up with other books that we've written that aren't, you know, some of us have written books for children or adults, and our websites, and so they can be found that way too. Fantastic. Well, I'll include that in the show notes for this oh, as great. well, catholicteambooks.com. Um, Leslie, what would be your one minute message to homeschool families everywhere? Um, well, I just, you know, as a fellow parent, I know how difficult it can be um, to find appropriate um, forms of entertainment, I guess I should say, for our kids, especially nowadays. I mean, they're bombarded with messages and through music and television and so forth and even if you're trying to limit some of that um, it's just very difficult nowadays so um, I think the faith-based books can offer a wonderful way uh, to not only deal with um, situations that arrive in modern society through a Catholic viewpoint but just getting that faith foundation and seeing characters who can are dealing with situations and so forth uh, with the same faith that you have. Beautiful. Thanks, Leslie. And thanks for those who are catching the, uh, who are watching this. Um, if you enjoyed this, go ahead, obviously check out the website and then share this video with the one friend that you think would actually enjoy it. And then uh, come and join us in the free homeschool community on catholichomeschoolcommunity.com. Thanks again, Leslie. Thank God bless you. Everyone. We'll see you in the neighborhood.